Hey, my friends. Woohoo! Yes, can you believe it? We're getting ready to do another math video. I know. It's what I do. It's what I live for is math. Numbers just don't lie. Numbers always tell the truth. <laughs> anyway, that's one of the reasons I love math. And I love the fourth grade math. You guys are totally awesome fourth graders. We're doing more algebra. Algebra. Lesson 2.2. Woohoo. And then look at our topic today. We have comparison problems. Yes, this is kind of leading into, yeah, based on our last lesson when we were doing some multiplication comparisons, now we're just doing comparison problems. Our essential question, this is our purpose, our objective, our learning target. Eh, they give us so many different names for this. I've been teaching a long time and they call that different things. Just so you know, that's why I say all those purpose, objective. It just basically purpose I like is the new one, lets us know why are we learning this. This lesson is all about how does a model help you solve a comparison problem? I think that's great. A model, modeling with mathematics is one of the, yes, one of the mathematical practices. I want to say it's number four, but I don't have them completely memorized by the number, but definitely modeling with mathematics is what we're going to be doing today. But you know, we can't do any of that. That's right. Unless we unlock the problem. That's right, my friends. It's real world, baby. Real world. Real world. Now, here it says, Evan's dog weighs seven times as much as Oksana's dog. I'm doing the best I can. Together, the dogs weigh 72 pounds. How much does Evan's dog weigh? Look at those two nice dogs. Look, it looks like one's, could be, I don't know, a golden retriever. I don't know my dogs too well. And that little guy, is he some kind of terrier? I don't know. I'm just taking a guess here. It looks like they posed for the camera, doesn't it? They're looking straight ahead. Hmm, very impressive. Probably model dogs. Hey, hey. Example one, use a multiplication model. Step one, it says first, draw a model. Let N represent the unknown. We talked about that the last time. And that unknown, we think of as that variable. Okay, and I'm just going to keep using this word. I know they're not using this in your, but that way, I don't know. Maybe when you get to fifth grade, you'll be like, yay, I remember that. But that's known as a variable. Okay, the unknown. I'm good with the unknown, so don't worry if you can't remember that. It says, think, let N represent how much Oksana's dog weighs. Together, the dogs weigh 72 pounds. Mr. Wara, there's a, there's a voice in your head. No. Okay, so we're thinking. Okay, think, think, think. So N represents how much Oksana's dog weighs. So let's go ahead and put our N there now. Okay. Now, we know together they weigh 72. Well, since they have this really cool bracket here going, all the way down here, all the way over there. That suggests that that's Evans and Oksana's dogs, plural, weight. So I could put that 72 over here, okay? Because we do have the total. It does show the seven boxes. And why? Because we're talking multiplication. This problem lets us know that we're going to be multiplying just for the simple fact it's in the problem says seven times as much. That's my indication that I'm going to be multiplying and I'm not going to be doing another operation. Well, that would mean that Evan's dog, since we don't know the weight of Oksana's dog, that one, if you want to think of a dotted line here, then we don't know what that unit, we kind of think of the unit weight. I keep using the word unit because it, later this is going to make a little bit more sense, but it is kind of like the unit. It's based on Oksana's dog's weight we're comparing. So here, these are all going to be N because we don't know what those are. So we'll put those like that. Now it does say step two, use the model to write an equation, find the value of n. All right, let's think of it this way. We have a blank times n equals that. It does say, think, there are eight parts. The parts together equal 72. Ooh, I like that, eight parts. That's right, because up in our model, up above, we take a look at that again. Look at that, there are eight parts because we have seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. Those eight parts together are going to equal 72. Cool, that helped me out a lot. So eight times all those ends that we saw, we do know it's going to equal 72. Woohoo! This is helping us solve the problem. How exciting! Yes! So eight times something is 72. Well, I know that's nine because I know my times table. Yeah, so it even says, think, what times eight equals 72? The value of n is nine. So we say the value of n is nine, that variable, that unknown. Now we know what it is. It's nine. N is how much, and now we have Oksana's 
There you go. And it's how much Oksana's dog weighs. Now to step three. We're not done because we don't know how much Evan's dog weighs yet. Because we had kind of in a way we had kind of like two unknowns. Now it does say, think. Evan's dog weighs seven times as much as Oksana's dog. Ah, Evan's dog is going to equal then, since we have that one, uh, the nine of Oksana's dog, times, and it's supposed to be seven times greater, because that's what the problem said. Now I have equal 63. And of course, they're so nice, they give us the answer down below. Woohoo! But you know what we can always do? We can always say, okay, I concur. I concur means I agree. And by saying I concur is a way of checking, making sure that Go Math is giving us the wrong right answers. Okay. To find how many times as much, use a multiplication model. She says that right here. How many times as much? That times is in there. That's a key word in there. It says use a multiplication model. This is important. To find out how many more or fewer, how many more or fewer, which you can see that's like the addition. Here's the subtraction. Model the addition or subtraction. This is huge, you guys. This is absolutely huge, okay? I mean, I would write this in my notes if I had a math journal, okay? And it may seem kind of obvious to you, but still. See, Evan's dog weighs 63 pounds. Oksana dog, blah, blah, blah. Oksana's dog weighs nine pounds. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. How much more does Evan's dog weigh than Oksana's dog? Ah, they changed the question now. How much more? Now I know I'm not going to do my multiplication model. An example of two is letting us know, use an addition or subtraction model. Question is, which one do we want to use? Let's take a look. Step one says draw model. Of course, we're going to do that. And it does say let N represent the unknown. Okay, so it says think. Let N represent the difference. The N could be the difference. I like that. Well, first things here, we have to figure out who's dog goes on what line here? Well, by looking at our bar model, and since we know that Evan's dog weighs much more, 63 pounds, I'm going to use the bigger bar model for his dog. And I'll put Evan's dog. That's right. Evan's dog. Hey, Evan's dog. Hey, Evan's dog just got measles. Oh no, it's the mumps. Quick to the veterinarian. <laughs> I know. That wasn't very nice for Tora. I know, but it was kind of fun. <laughs> you don't take that personal, do you? Okay, I will get rid of them. Mr. Wara, be kind to that nice looking dog. It's got such a pretty coat. All right. There, did I get it? Did I get all the... Okay. It no longer has mumps. Now we have Oxana's dog. Oops. It's X first. Ooh, I'm glad this isn't a spelling test. I would have missed this one. And, of course, her dog was little. It was only nine pounds, right? I mean, pretty safe to say. Yeah. This one here is Oksana's dog right there. Wee! Right there. Yeah. And so, what's the difference? It's all this section here that they have that little bracket. Yeah, that's the difference. So, we can just call that difference N because it said we could do that. All right. Let's go to step two. Now, step two says use the model to write an equation. Find the value of N. All right. So now I know I'm going to be doing a subtraction model. Well, clearly we know that the 63, Evan's dog, is going to be the first number because we're taking the weight of Oksana's dog from that 63. So that's where that 9 comes and then we get the N. Drink. The model shows a difference. Yes, it does. Okay. 63 minus 9 equals, and we just have to subtract. Well, I would take the 3 away to make it 60 and that only leaves 6. When I take the 6 away from 60, I get 54. Or some of you just quickly go 13 minus 9 equals 4, whatever works. The reason why I do these little strategies like that is because it helps me manipulate numbers. The value of n is, that's right, it's 54. So n is, I don't know, I'm just going to write 54. It's a really long line. Hmm. n is, I don't know, how much, n is how much more Evan's dog weighs. That's a more, that's an r. Er, sorry. How much more Evan's dogs, not dogs, dog weighs than Oksana's dog. Sloppy. I know. Anyway, so Evan's dog weighs 54 pounds more than Oksana's dog. All right. I don't know. It was such a long line that I think they probably wanted a little bit more information than just the answer, I'm assuming. Okay. Let's keep moving. Oh, hey, hey. What's this? Hey, what are you doing on the page? It's a pug. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. Sorry. Sorry to hear that. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know. Most kids would probably say pugs are cuter. I don't know. Yes. Hey. I can see you're hurt. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? You're going to write go math? Okay. <laughs> you go ahead and write that formal complaint there, uh, Mr. Pug Dude. Um, yes, you're... Hey, pugs are cute. Yeah. Hey, pugs are cute. What can I say? You know, we'll see what the fourth graders think. All right, but I have to get you off the page because you're blocking our problem here. <laughs> Pug, this is too funny. Okay, Mr. Pug, time for you to go shrinky, shrinky. Whoa, shrink. Ah. Okay, I'll leave you on the page. Oh, my goodness, the guy's taking this really personal. All right, we'll put you down here. How about that? Okay. There you go, in the corner, out of the vey. All right, there we go. Oh my goodness, how did he get in my video? Okay, now it's time for Sharon's show. And we have the math board. Yeah, get your math boards out. Fun, fun. It says Maria's dog weighs six times as much as her rabbit. Okay, one would hope so. Or she'd have one really big rabbit. Together, the pets weigh 56 pounds. What does Maria's dog weigh? Hmm. Okay, draw a model. Let N represent the unknown. Okay, so what's the unknown? First thing, Maria's dog weigh. We have no idea what Maria's dog weighs, but we do know it's six times as much as her rabbit. We don't know how much her rabbit weighs either. So since we have our model here showing the six times, this would be Maria's dog. And I can see that by just looking at my model. This kind of helps me really conceptualize the problem. That's why modeling is so important. Here we have the rabbit. Okay. So we'll say Maria's rabbit. I was going to put her rabbit, but all right, we'll put Maria's rabbit. And we don't know how much that weighs. And we actually don't know how much Maria's dog weighs either. That's the question to the problem that we're supposed to answer. These are all variables, the unknown, letter N. We do know altogether they're 56 pounds. And write an equation to find the value of N. Okay, so we have 7 times n is equal to, remember that 3, 6? Yeah, we have 7. Remember, the 7 equal parts. That's where they got that, that uh, 7 from because we have 7 boxes times the n. Therefore, that's going to equal 56. Oh, so n is pretty easy to see here, right? Only we can hardly see the is here. So n is 8 pounds. Multiply to find how much Maria's dog weighs. 8 times six because remember there's only six equal pieces 48 so maria's dog weighs 48 pounds so we found out a lot we found out that yeah we found out that maria's rabbit weighs eight pounds it's a pretty big rabbit i suppose eight pounds and uh but uh, her dog weighs six times that so it weighs 48 pounds Woohoo! yeah yeah hey mr puggy dude man you are a cute cute puppy i don't know be interesting to see if uh you get any votes <laughs> Yeah. All right, we'll see. Hey, if a lot of fourth graders vote for you, I'll be impressed. It seems like that most kids like pugs. I can tell you that being a teacher. <laughs> now, hey, I know I hear that music, and that means the time has come to an end. So, without further ado, live long and prosper. <laughs>